Hello and welcome to Life is Feudal, Forest Village. We've almost got our stone wall now completed. Uh, there's a pillar over there to, to finish off. But um, I actually ran into problems with some sections and I'm having to rebuild them. Uh, these ones over here for instance, right over here and here. For some strange reason the, the walls actually did get built but they ended up sort of like half height. So I've had to get them torn down and then rebuilt again. Uh, so that's going to take a bit longer, but we're almost there. And um, I've also got this issue where I've had to sort of like plug the gaps with pillars. Um, it's, it's a bit of a shame that they don't sort of like fit together properly. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, but uh, it's a case of obviously, I mean, I've, I've sort of started off like a tower over here, for instance. Started building the walls in this direction and then... Basically, because these walls, they're four um, in width, uh, there's just, you know, it's, I just couldn't fit one in. So I've had to plug the gap with the pillars, but for whatever reason, they just don't, like, uh, join together. And, you know, it's like one complete block for some reason, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But, uh, I mean, I suppose in hindsight, um, really it would be best to sort of build your walls, build your gates, and build your roads around that. But... I mean, in this case, I mean, this this whole village is it's already established, so kind of not really practical, I suppose. I mean, I, I could have, like, ripped down the towers and started again, I suppose. Uh, that, that could have been one way and juggled the roads, but to be honest, I just couldn't be bothered. I mean, it's just going to... It's that much of a faff and takes so long to get these things done, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it as is for now, anyway. Um, so, yeah, so anyway, I mean, that's the walls almost done. So once they're completed, we'll then... We'll then rip these uh, wooden walls down because they'll no longer be necessary. Uh, hopefully they'll stand up uh, to the weather effects a, a lot more. I keep forgetting whether it's... I can't remember. It's a I think it's a tornado that you get. Uh, what's that? There's a building on fire somewhere. Oh, yeah. I've been having a field day with buildings setting on fire lately. Uh, they're, they're, so, they're so close together. But uh, once one catches fire, then it, it just the fire just leaps from one building to another. I don't I don't know what's causing it because the um, uh, it, it normally happens when you get the lightning strikes. But for that reason, what I've had to do is I've had to in some cases I've had to rebuild buildings. Literally, if you don't get them repaired, you know the water uh, enough water to put the fire out in time, the building gets destroyed. So you've got to then deconstruct it and rebuild a new one. So. I did actually have, I think it was that one there, that fish farm there, uh, that fishing lodge over there. They both got destroyed, so I had to completely rebuild them, which is a bit, a bit frustrating. But these places, these all of these places, the fire just kept jumping backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I mean, I think maybe it might be good to have some like walls in between these sort of areas just to try and contain it. And the, the problem is, if the building's not actually in use. They don't get repaired, so that's why I've taken these off pause, just so if it happens again, I, I don't want to run in the same situation where a building, it gets um, set on fire, there's hardly anything left of it structurally, and then another fire comes along and destroys it, because, you know, it wasn't in use and nobody thought it was necessary to then repair it. Um, in terms of research, we'd started that with a keep in the previous episode, so I've, I've got that going again. I mean, we've got a lot more sort of like uh, farmers and um, uh, gardeners than we, you know, we've got actual fish farms, so I've got quite a bit of a surplus of labourers, so I've, I've put quite a few of them, I've maxed that out the keep, so they're going to sit uh, and hopefully get this production um, research done fairly shortly. Uh, we'll just have to see. The other things we've been doing is uh, we ran out of stone. Uh, the, the quarry up in the northeast actually ran out pretty quick. Um, actually I better just pause that and see where these raiders have landed. Oh they're right down here. Yeah they're a bit annoying because they were um, uh -huh. they'll go off and set fire to the place. We'll have to get rid of these first. See if there's any more around. Normally the towers get rid of them pretty quickly. Yeah, that means somebody's around. There's one there. Ah! Mm -hmm. They're extremely annoying. One of the frustrating things is the um, 
sometimes the game crashes while I'm in occupying somebody as well. Well, I've got uh, first person control of them. Hopefully that should have taken care of them. Yeah, so just trying to think where I was anyway. Um, yeah, so I've got the research going on. Uh, we'd run out of stone, so I've I've rebuilt another qu uh, stone quarry down here, and I've built a, a warehouse and a shack over here just to speed things up. But then it just kind of dawned on me. Actually, I've got um, there's only enough for three people there, but there's actually twelve people working in the actual stone quarry, so they'll probably be right up in the northeast. So that's uh, that's something I better sort out. Actually, uh, let's have a look. Uh, right, so that's the clear mine. No one's using that. So there's three people in the clear mine. Right, so yeah, that they'll be the people working in there. So that's all right. So there'll be there'll be another nine people coming from somewhere, working all the way down here as opposed to up the northeast. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it won't last that long anyway. I mean, there's quite a lot of uh, stone in there, but um, we'll probably go through quite a lot anyway. But that kind of I don't think it'll cause too much of a problem. I'll have to wait before I can start building my walls again. But um, one problem I've got is we're running out of hide. The, the hunting cabins are not just they're just not generating enough hide. I mean, it, and it makes sense if you look at this one here, for instance. I mean, if you look at the area that they cover, I mean, it just seems to be a big bit of a waste being there. So what I've done is I've got an instruction up here to build a new hunting cabin. I'm going to put in a shack. But I'm going to wait until the snow clears because I, I need to run a, a road from, from here up to here. I'd actually started, I thought it would make more sense to run a road all the way up to here. Put one down there, but then I want to keep the the warehouse and the barn out of, that, out of this area so that these these hunters have got much much more area to work in. But the trouble was it meant placing the, the barn and the warehouse down here. And then it dawned on me the... Um, the farmers here would probably dump their like fruit into the barn up there, up here, as opposed to down here. It would have meant the uh, the actual you know the bakers would have had further to walk. Uh, people would have had further to walk to get their fruit. So that's why I thought actually I'll just put it out out just well out of the way. So that's that's what I've done now. We're just going to wait for everybody to you know take the stone up to there, and uh, I'll wait for the snow to clear, and then I can get um, hopefully they get that bit sorted out. I mean I might just. I might put the barn and the, the warehouse maybe down here, for instance, and then just get a, a caravan to bring them all the way down to here, probably. But um, I'll just get these people here. I'll just get them to relocate up there. I'll probably have to start taking them things like clothes, taking them things like uh, some more vegetables, fish, that sort of thing. So I'll probably build us like a dedicated caravan stable over here, I think. Um... um kind of dawned on me that building this house here wasn't actually I'm just going to pause the game now that the, I've got quite a bit to do but I'm going to I want to actually relocate this house to over here it, I don't think it was really a good idea putting people over here because the trouble is you've got all these people working over here but living over here which it really doesn't make sense so yeah I think I'm going to build another house here so I'll get that done uh, let's see if we put that reasonably close. I, I don't think I can run a road there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just wait for the snow to thaw a bit. If I plonk that down there, they can build a build a house there. So then we've got people living, you know, much closer to where they actually work. So right, let's have a look. So. I'm going to have to probably either do some terraforming, I think, well, yeah, I'll, I'll build a ramp there because that, uh, unfortunately, if I try to build a road there, if I try to extend that, it won't go up there, so it actually goes all the way around, which is kind of nuts, basically. So, if you go over to here, I'm, I'm going to get them to build a ramp. Uh, I think that'll do, so I'll get them to build a ramp over there. And now that I know where that uh, shack is, oh, it's not so much the shack as the hunter's cabin. If I run that out of there a bit, I can get my little shack built over there as well. I mean, I was thinking of having the 
uh, like a, a a gatherer out here, but to be honest, I want I want as little interruption as I can for the people the, for these hunters. I just want I, I don't want anything like spooking the um, the animals away. I'd rather they spend you know I'd rather they just have as you know as few people up here and as few buildings up here as possible. So we need for that topology, uh, not the topology, the terraforming to get sorted, um, and then I'll finish my road. And then I can decide roughly whereabouts the the, uh, the barn and the warehouse will go. Then it's a case of just waiting for everything else to play out. So I'm just going to pause the video and then I'll bring you back once it's all sorted. Okay then, so we've now got a hunting cabin up and running and we've got a, a little shack. Although for some strange reason I've got it back to front. And... Um, We've got a barn over here in a warehouse. I've just actually put a deconstruct order in for that because I, I just realised the, the hunting cabin here. What they do is they gather meat and then they gather hide, and that all gets stored in the barn. So there's there's no point having that warehouse. Uh, it's out in the middle of nowhere, so I'm I'm just going to get rid of it. I've I've actually started to put in wells because um, I, yeah, I mean buildings set on fire, so I've got to make sure there's water around for them to be able to put the fires out. Now. One thing I do need to do, I need to be able to get the hide from there. I mean, that's going to be needed all the way down here. So, I want to build a caravan um, stable. Let's see. Um, does that come with a storage? Yeah, it comes into storage. So, I could put that there, for instance, down here. And then they can service up there. I'm just going to have to be mindful of how far out that is, so... I might be able to put it down there, for instance. But um, one thing I'm noticing, obviously, is there's people like the, the forester here, for instance. I mean, their areas, but well, there's not a great deal of like area that they can cover because you've got all these buildings get in the way. So I think what I'm going to do is move the actual forester first. So if we run a road all the way down to that other side there. Uh, yep, that's all the way through. I think what I'll do is I'll build another forester. If I put them, so like in the middle there, I'll make sure they're facing the road this time. And then once that's built, I'll just deconstruct that one. They'll have a bit more room to, to, to work in, so what I'm going to have to do is I'll have to do a bit of terraforming down here. Because obviously I want to make sure that they've got... Uh, somewhere they can plant things. So I'll just flatten this area out while I'm at it. That'll do. Yeah, that should do. So then hopefully they'll then be able to start planting trees, well there's more trees and gather more more wood. I mean they'll have to bring it all the way down here, which is which is fine. I mean it's it's a case of I, I need these people down here to, to get access to it quicker than really these people because they, they should be able to probably deliver it quicker than these people can actually um, chop it up. Now I think I've got the same issue with the gatherer as well because uh, it's a case of I'll, I'll probably be better off moving them as well. So I'm going to put the gatherer over there. I mean we're, we're sort of like treading on the toes of the, um, the forester but I'd rather have that. I mean it's could probably do with pushing a bit further back, but I think that'll do. And then I'll do the same with the, the herbalist. Now, I was scratching my head searching through all this stuff, and the herbalist's actually actually living over here in, under the municipal buildings. So I'll just dump them, dump them there. I mean, it's not too far. I mean, it's, I mean they're going to be probably living down here, I suppose. But, yeah... It's one of those things. It's kind of like you gotta, you try not to get in the way of things of uh, you know where people are working as opposed to where they're living. You want you want them to be living close to where they work, but on the other hand, you don't want to be blocking their uh, area of work. So we'll see how that goes. We'll get these three built, then we'll deconstruct these. Um, probably there's no point doing that. I was I was actually going to start building the caravana down here at one point, so I, I started juggling things around, but. I think I'll just get rid of that well that I was going to build there. So we really need to get the 
caravan are built. Now they're going to start treading on people's toes. Um, I suppose really I will have to put it there after all. And if I put it say there, yeah, I'll put it there. I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it there. So I'll just wait. I'll wait until. I mean, well, actually, nobody's using that, so I may as well get rid of it already. And then once these um, once these are built, then I can then start focusing on getting the caravan stable built and these people moved up to there. Now, for our research, they're busy beavering away. I had quite a few. I had about all five people working on that during the winter, but I'm about to put everybody back into the field. So they're working on food production one, which it says it reduces the time for food production, which. I'm assuming that relates to the bakers, for instance. So these take like 1.9 minutes to make bread, 1.3 minutes to make, make vegetable pies. So hopefully once we've got that researched, um, let's pop that down there as a reminder. Once that's researched, then hopefully that that time will go down and it'll, it'll uh, make them more efficient. I've moved, over here, what I've done is I've actually, I've got this house now built. Um, there was a bit of a gap running down there, so what I ended up doing is I ended up just getting rid of that house that I'd put down. I got rid of the foundation, uh, deconstructed the funeral pyre, built a new one down there and built the house there. So it's a bit bit more efficient, I think, and I've, I've got some orders over here to build some kilners so that we can start making some proper charcoal for these people. Uh... Trying to think what else there is because the, I mean there's obviously this still goes on during the uh, usually during the spring, uh, sp uh, spring, summer, and autumn. But uh, I think that's about it for now because I'm really keen to see how much of an improvement, if any, having this uh, this hunting cabin's going to do. So I'm just going to wait for all these things to to get completed, and I'll bring you back shortly. Well, we've been making some progress in terms of research. We're, we're now up to animal breeding uh, tier one, and that has made a, a bit of a difference to getting that food production research. Because before it was taking 1.3 minutes to make a pie, now we're down to one minute. It was taking 1.9 minutes to bake bread, now we're down to one and a half. So it, it definitely seems to be good to do that research. I mean, it always varies as to you know what resources you need to bring, and then. You've basically got to, got to assign people to do the research, but I, I think that's uh, definitely a useful thing to have. I like it. Now, the hunters, um, we've got two hunters. We've got the new one over here, and that's this red one here. I, I don't know what's going on there. For some reason, they give me choices. Before, they were giving me a choice of like fruit and meat and hides for some strange reason from this one, which is uh, very strange. That's why that one's red and that one's green. Uh, yeah, that one's switched over to, to fruit now. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but in any case, they're, they're kind of like similar, I'd say. I mean, there's a lot more trees uh, over here than there was, you know, down here. Although, interestingly enough, you can see quite a lot of the trees are now growing back. But um, hopefully we'll sh we should start to see more hides coming through. But I'm, I might end up having to introduce another hunting cabin. Because we don't seem to be able to keep up. We're, we're just going through too many hides to, um, you know, to make all the clothing we need. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on this. We'll see how we do, and if necessary, I'll, I think I might build another one out here somewhere. But uh, we've got to wait for the caravan stable here to be built. It's going to take a while because I've had quite a few people dying of, like, uh, you know, old age. Most of them were dying off uh, because of accidents in the mines. So we don't have that many. Uh, people in the labour force at the moment, there's quite a few we've got to wait for. I, I, I really hate these uh, these fires because I've already had to destroy that blacksmith and rebuild it. Um, I'm waiting for the uh, the lumberjack to be rebuilt as well because that burned out. It's, it's very frustrating but I, I think in future what I'll have to do is probably not build these places so close together. Uh, segregate them out with walls to stop the fire spreading. Especially places like this, it's, uh, it's it's not good at all. Now, there's still quite a bit of terraforming to be done down here, and I'm I'm really keen to start getting more fruit. 
But um, I'm just going to have to wait until these... I think I'll wait until this lot's uh, finished. We're already down to about 2,000 uh, stone left. When that's done, I think I might uh, build an orchard down here and then I'll start to think about building yeah, the wall. Well, I'll have to have a look and see if there's any more terraforming needed over here. But one thing I'm quite keen to do, actually, while uh, I'm at it is I think I'm going to expand on the uh, the cattle production. I'm a, a bit concerned about trying to introduce pigs at this stage. I mean, we're doing okay for oats, but that they'll have to be down here somewhere. I want them near to a barn, so I might end up building a like a completely new barn and everything down here for just specifically to bring the pigs in, but I really want to get this terraforming out the way. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some orders to deconstruct the pyre and the tower over here. I mean, I deliberately put that in because somehow wolves were sneaking in uh, to the area, but um, I want to clear this area out. What I want to do is I want to put another actual pasture down here for cows. I mean, I'm I mean, you, I, I could sort of like expand that one out. I would have to just, I'd have to destroy that one and rebuild another one, but it means you lose all your cows for it. It's a bit of a shame you don't have an option to sort of like increase the capacity of an existing pasture. So I'm just going to basically get these 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 little buildings here cleared out. I'm going to build another pasture here, and then we can um, start getting more more milk and more meat because I definitely need that to be able to bring another. Uh, baker here online. Uh, they're on a minute as well. I'm assuming these fish ones would be down to a minute. Yeah, so maybe they can get improved by uh, t oh, more more accidents in the mine. Ah, it's frustrating that. But yeah, so I'm going to wait for all these to be cleared out, and then I'm going to add in another pasture for the cows. Uh, we still need that to be built, and there's still quite a bit to do on the research. Plus it's terraforming. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring you back once we're actually at that point. Hopefully by then we'll have cleared out that mine and we can start looking into putting another orchard in here. So I'll get to, I'll get that done off camera and then I'll bring you back once we're ready. Well we've got our caravan stable now built and I've already got that basically taking the hide and the meat from that barn there. They bring the the, the meat down to here. But what I'm doing is I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the amounts because I need to make sure that those have got enough uh, food for themselves. I mean, fortunately, we did move the, the actual gatherer up here. So they're actually depositing vegetables into that barn. So that's probably just as well. But uh, the hides, I mean, I'm not too fussed about the hides. They're bringing it over here so I'm, that can just stay on permanently. Now, this, um, this pasture, I, I did leave it paused for a while. Because there just wasn't enough people around and uh, this pasture over here it's capable of four people but I'm getting away with three I'd say so I'm, I'm gonna do the same here I'll put three people into this this pasture here um, we've managed to deconstruct the stone quarry and their shack and that's I've, I've built a new one over here so they're, they're okay but um, I've spread the people out I've spread the miners out because I mean, we've got quite a bit of surplus of, of uh, most of them, so I'm quite happy to just have three people serve, serving all three mines, basically. But it's going to take a good while to get this um, this stone emptied out of the warehouse. And I did have to build an extra warehouse here, because this this one here was just getting... It's been getting full because of all the hay that gets deposited in, uh, into that uh, warehouse. So we've got this one now, and they're, they're taking the stone across there, but it's, it's going to take ages to get that done. Um, let's see what else was there. So research, we've done all of our tier 1 research and it, it's given me the options for agriculture tier 2 and production tier 2. I'm more interested in like the food production to be honest to begin with so I'm going to have them focus on agriculture first and then once that's done we'll switch over to production which will be basically for the bakers I'd imagine and the um, people like the blacksmith, the sawmill, kilners maybe, because they all take a certain amount of time to do their job. And I'd imagine that research should speed uh, speed it up uh, quite a bit. Probably even the miller as well, I'd imagine. Um, so I think that's probably about it as far as I'm going to go within this video, because most of the rest of the stuff that I need to do is actually terraforming now. I mean, it's going to take a while for this place to get emptied, let alone deconstructed. And one of the things I was really keen on, I mean, 
we'll get this pasture done, but fruit's the another shortage, so I still can't bring this uh, fruit pie on uh, bakery on stream yet until we've got enough fruit and enough milk. So I thought, well, what I can do is I can build another orchard, and I'll build it over here so that it's close to this house. But um, the trouble is, there's a there's a limit as to how far you can get. You, you can't go beyond a, a length of 42, unfortunately. And I'd rather like have four people in the orchard. So, I mean, normally I'm building like a 26 by 26, but that needs terraforming. So, you know, even if I wanted to do it just slightly, just going slightly further to cut, you know, to be able to get four people. I've still got to do all this terraforming, so that's the sort of stuff I want to do off camera because it's there's no, it, it takes a long time and there's no particular interest I don't think in just watching people, you know, uh, cutting this, cutting all the yeah uh, these cliff sides out. I mean this one alone, this big chunk here is about 307 units uh, of labour to to do, and unfortunately it stopped me doing other things as well because I, I I want to build a pig pen for instance, but I can't do anything until the terraforming's done. Uh, I remembered actually there's the I cleared this area out and there were there were potato fields and there was an apiary over here so at some point I want to build an apiary down here plus some more fields probably orchards um, as well but again this is all blocked out because of the terraforming going on so the only real progression I can do is once all the terraforming's done so I think it more makes more sense to leave things ticking over off camera get all this terraforming done and then when I come back in the next episode, we'll start uh, to be able to build all these fields and get the things like the research finished off. So I'm just going to call it a day then for this video. Uh, I, I do hope you've enjoyed watching it. If so, then do please leave a like because that will help me out a great deal. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more content, then yeah, please subscribe. But just remember to click the little bell icon because that way you get notifications for when new content comes out. And if you've got any comments, any suggestions, want to leave any feedback at all, please post that in the comment section below. But until the next video, thanks very much for watching. Bye!